information, I will happily carry whatever you need. your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Carrying objects is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter, and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch. Let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of there alive. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool! Is it true that the Nat Train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last year. I kinda smell but I don't smell anything. Um, no, yes, 
No, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. A little unfair, don't you think? Free Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted, no questions asked. Even helped with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. I am really in the middle of something. Does that May one I help you? have any idea? Huh. Guess you caught some of that, huh? Huh. The galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. Well now, <laughs> you don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. I'm right here with you, my friend. How can you not look up to the cosmos and just be overwhelmed by its beauty? So much possibility, so much hope, even despite recent events. Ricardo Bosch, I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now, I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? Really? <laughs> you must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <sighs> They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though. They tend to shoot first and ask questions never. Not what, who. How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a... A bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. Faction, or cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Uh, real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just... disappeared. They're out there, somewhere. Or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners, for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes. Can you believe that? <laughs> Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. They jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it. So long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet-side, though. And their trigger fingers get much itchier. Another time, then. I've never been in a battle before. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people yelling about serpents and stuff. Probably. I'm pretty brave. A kid tried to bully me once, and I punched him in the head. Don't take shit from anybody, my mother says. And I don't. Anyway, I'm fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. You see that scientist out in front of Mast? 
staring at trees? Sounds upset. Whatever it is, can't be that bad, right? This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Another day, one day. I'm gonna leave New Atlantis for good. Oh, hi there. I'm doing great. How about you? Glad to hear it. Yeah, life is good, isn't it? I've been trying to save up enough money so that I can go explore the settled systems with my boyfriend, Tony. I think we're finally getting close. Really? Well, I guess you're right. I'm feeling a bit run down. I really love my job, but it's hard work and long hours. I could definitely use the Terracino from Terra Brew right now. Really? That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. Take care. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. like someone who has many stories to tell. I'd like to hear them. <laughs> Me? Uh, why, to be frank, I don't do much. Not anymore, at least. And that suits me just fine. Yes! I now live to collect artifacts from Earth. You see, every artifact tells a story. Even spoons and forks, which most take for granted. People laugh at me when they see I collect old earth spoons. But think about it, friend. Spoons change the course of history. Can you imagine life without them? Ah, the usual things, I suppose. Fame, fortune, power. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. I've actually been fortunate to call New Atlantis home for many years. For a collector, like myself, I do believe there's no better place in all the Settle systems. I've been charmed to make the acquaintance of many fellow Old Earth enthusiasts here in New Atlantis. And that is why I continue to stay. I'm sorry. 
feeling today's going to be a great day. Don't you agree? Oh, thank you so much. Soon I'll be coursing with bountiful energy. I'll be the most enthusiastic janitor in New Atlantis. <laughs> Here, take this. I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. I can't complain. My boss told me yesterday that I'm one of the best janitors she's ever hired. Feels great to be appreciated. Tony and I want to see what else is out there. I love my job, but there has to be more to life than just being a janitor in New Atlantis. What about you? Have you gone on any adventures? That's amazing. I'm so jealous. One day you'll have to tell me and Tony all about them, okay? Well, that depends. Are you a foodie or a shopper? Hmm, I guess I won't ask. But there is a place called The Well that might be more your style. I don't go down there myself. It can be pretty dangerous. Don't be a stranger. Been to Sidonia? My brother works there. Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with the hauler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else... I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. 
Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well, speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of Freestar sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquiles City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? I can tell. Stop by any time you'd like to catch up. Hello. And I, I have a lot on my plate right now, and you don't look like a new hire stumbling through their first day. Now, who exactly are you? Really? Hmm. You have your own ship? Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Kismet, really. I have a business proposition for you that could uh, help us both out. Very lucrative. <laughs> So you see right through me. Well, <laughs> you've got a good eye. You are just the person I'm looking for. Well, confession time. I might just be a little desperate. See, the world of credit analysis, you know, dealing with deadbeats and reprobates is, uh, well, it's a tough field. And what I need is a ringer. Someone that can collect some of our top delinquent offenders. What I need is... you. You work with me, and the fee you get will be huge. Yes! <laughs> so, we got a galaxy-class con man took out a loan to franchise a restaurant. Turns out, surprise, it was a scam. And Dieter Maliki jumps system. Now, he's holed up in a literal shack in the middle of nowhere. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, the job is simple. Get Dieter to pay. And we don't want him dead. We don't want him hurt. Just close his account like an honest citizen. I'll send over all the details. You find Dieter and bring his account current. I hate to end on this note, but you know, not everyone's a straight arrow. If you cut a deal with Dieter, honestly, I have no way of knowing, but don't expect any more jobs from me. Best of luck, I believe in you. Together, we can really make a difference.
I'm sorry. I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes. Concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Billy isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There's something I can help you with? Yeah... I can't really just let you in there. <laughs> You're not getting through. I heard you the first time, and didn't care then either. Yeah, I hope so. Alright, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. I could lose my job over it. 
anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. Got it? One second. Alright, make it quick. I'm desperate, but any luck finding my cargo? Hey there, new guy. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. I certainly hope not. This is a huge deal to me. But it's not worth either of us murdering over. Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this? This was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. Catch you later. Are you looking for eggs, too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Okay, thanks. Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. The sails keep climbing. And they are too Don't be nervous. Saw your ship come in. Nice try. Right. 
Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? I could, but I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses. And it's all the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there, then back out here. You did say this was important after all. Honestly, it's probably worth way more than what we're talking about. Pleasure doing business with you. Right, right. Come back if you need something else. Hey! Hey, it's you again. You would think that. What is with adults? These are my parents. I told everyone they just got on a different shuttle, but nobody would listen. We're just exploring New Atlantis. We have a new apartment. This place is amazing. Anyway, it was nice to see you again. Maybe I'll see you around. And don't forget my birthday. It's June 11th. He's quite something. I don't mean to be pushy, but I really do need those sensors, and quickly. If it isn't my favorite alt- So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right, we'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. Relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it's... Oh, my. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Yes, it does feel good to be right. Particularly when others have attempted to convince you otherwise. Repeatedly. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be... disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation.
name of that guy? The contact for the job. Beats me. Although I have attempted an analysis several times, I simply cannot quantify humans' addiction to caffeine. At this rate, I won't even have an election. Well, can't give up now. Perhaps my luck will turn. Here, one moment, gone the next. I tell you, you must cherish everything and everyone while they're here. You never know when you may lose them. What you asked me to do is literally if- Thank you. I appreciate that. You see, I lost something invaluable. Lost it in a bet, if you must know. It was one of my most prized items in my collection. It was a gem, priceless, no doubt. And its beauty was blinding. Oh, life seems a little less bright without it. That scoundrel George St. George has it in his possession now. And knowing that fills me with such envy and anger. I agree. I think I know just the thing. St. George. Like myself, is a collector of trinkets and relics from Earth. I have in my possession a plate that I'm sure he won't be able to live without. Please, would you be my hero and go exchange the plate for the jewel? I'm sure it will work. Fantastic! Here's the plate. Come back to me when you have the gem, and please don't drop it. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Guillaume, by the way. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. It does. It was the first item I ever collected. The start of it all. I received that gem when I was a young, young man. To know that I foolishly wagered it. Threw it away. Ah, <sighs> well, I won't make that mistake again. I can assure you, with near certainty, he won't decline. As much as I hate to say it, St. George and I are cut from the same cloth. We both adore relics from Earth, no matter how large or monetarily valuable they are. They are a piece of human history, and that means a lot to us both. It pains me to part with the plate, but I happen to have a few others in my collection. If it means sacrificing one to get the gem back, I will. Yes, I've been blessed to call New Atlantis home. When I was a younger man, I would travel the settled systems with no home to call my own. I was a nomad, if you will. But out of all the places I've been, no place quite spoke to me like New Atlantis. Ah, not by profession. I work out of the Valberg building. Gambling is a vice I've indulged since I was a young man, and I've amassed a great collection of trinkets and valuables from it. Alas, recently my luck has soured and my collection is dwindling by the day. But I can't stop, right? I can't just quit, because what if my luck returns? I'm glad you understand. Lady Luck can be a cruel mistress, but I'm sure she will smile upon me soon. I collect all sorts. Gems, novelties, old earth trinkets. Anything and everything that has some sort of value, monetary or otherwise. One of my favorite possessions is a fork that was used on earth. How amazing is that? You'd be amazed what people will wager in a bet. I've won and lost some truly breathtaking things. My collection, as it stands, is quite valuable and substantial. It used to be more so, but my bad string of luck lately has affected it. Until oh, next gracious. time. Pardon?
enjoys this establishment. He frequently buys chocolate here, though I have informed him repeatedly. It is likely a significant contributing factor to his being overweight. A plate? Oh my! As in a plate from Earth? Absolutely! Without question! Here, take the gem. <laughs> that Guillaume... If he wanted his gem back so badly, he could have simply asked. The gem is worthless. Less than a paperweight. But actually, earth paperweights are quite valuable. Bah! I'm sure Guillaume makes it seem that way. In reality, it couldn't be further from the truth. Guillaume and I have known each other for years. Since we were both young men. He is the closest thing I have to a brother. And, much like brothers, we quarrel. But that doesn't mean we don't like each other. I will say, however, Guillaume can be a tad overdramatic, as well as a sore loser. Don't tell him I said that. George St. George. How many items have I lost to him? Ah, wonderful. I knew George would make the exchange. He could never resist foodware from Earth. You've done me a great service today, friend. I'll be sure to never take this gem for granted ever again. Thank you for bringing it back to me. Ta-ta! You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Part-time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave. Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. So really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask, do you have any security experience at all? It sure counts for something. I mean, you're alive. And resilience is definitely an important trait for any officer. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. You know, MAST, uh, the Military, Administrative and Scientific Triumvirate. Giant building in the center of the city? Headquarters of the entire United Colonies? I really should have given you a more thorough interview. Aegis? They're basically UC intelligence. They help identify threats to New Atlantis before they become problems. While we're separate departments, there are times we need to rely on each other, so it's important to keep a good working relationship. We do Agent Plato this favor, and maybe he'll toss us some intel when an investigation stalled. It for tat. You know how it works. 
Well, just because you're bringing it here doesn't mean that's where it'll end up. As for why, you can ask Aegis. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. Let me know if you have any questions. Limited resources. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. Don't have much of a choice. Can't afford to pay staff, and while I've got a few volunteers from the community, I can only ask so much of them. We've scraped by for a good long while now, and we'll continue to do so. Don't you worry. Maybe I should switch. Funny story about that. You know, when people first arrived on Jemison, they dismantled the colony ship and used the parts to establish a place to live. Over time, they built out, and up, and up, and after long enough, they started to forget about the people and the things still down here. The walls and the ceiling have changed, but this place still uses equipment from that old ship. And it's here because not everyone in New Atlantis can afford Reliant Medical. You know, there's nothing wrong Well, that's what I'm here for. Let's see what we're dealing with. You need a bit of work, for sure, but I can handle it. Right then, consider it never minded. There are always about a million things to do, and I'm only one person. It's so overwhelming. Hey! Oh, you're not Garl. Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while, and Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once, and Garl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. Well, since you're here and Garl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. Near the next. 
Phoenix Junction box. This section isn't used very much these days, so it may be a little harder to see. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end, right down from me. squatters never cleared out, I would suggest avoiding eye contact. It should be fine. Another switch flipped, another lead to follow. And the lights in here just flicker too. The wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. Looks like it's over near the... Uh... Mm, the trade authority. Okay. Just find that and, uh... Maybe don't talk to anyone about it just yet. Nice hat.
places where good selection goes to die. Did I say thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Well, not everyone would be, and I appreciate it. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The trade authority. So that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. <laughs>